So just left from seeing Thor Love and Thunder. I have to say a very interesting movie. I would have to kind of rate this movie. Um, I liked it. I would put it right under uh, Thor Ragnarok as like one of my favorite uh, Thor movies out of the four. Now, if you do not know, he is the first Avenger or any Marvel hero with four movies. Uh, the movie basically picks up where uh, Thor is kind of on this journey of self uh, improvement. He's on a kind of almost uh, kind of uh, replacing his retirement, if you will. Insert Christian Bale's character, Gore, God the Destructor. Now, Gore is a basically a villain who kills only gods. And I really loved his story from the very beginning. They give a very kind of humanistic um, turn on why he is the villain. Like from the very start of the movie, they touch on why he is the way he is. And you really feel his character like, oh, yeah, he's a he's a good villain. Like because he has a real reason to hate the gods and Thor along with King Valkyrie and his ex, Jane Foster, who is the new Thor, come together to bring down this evil villain. I really actually liked the dynamic of Natalie Portman's character. I thought like her storyline was very, it was very good. This movie is really more like a love romantic slash comedy. Like this was one of the funniest uh, Marvel movies I've seen. Like it was, if you thought Ragnarok had a lot of comedy, this one really doubles Ragnarok like in jokes one-liners like I just thought it was a really good plot um and very funny plot as well uh but I really love the humanistic version of how they did Natalie Portman's character as the uh woman Thor like I loved her background story and like I, I won't spoil it for you but you know she goes through a very traumatic event in the movie and you kind of start feeling for her character and they start showing like the weakness and now she's this new superhero but she has like a kind of uh element to her that really makes her a really different superhero and thor chris come on he's just like the best like he do uh, he's so hilarious this movie and they also have another cameo with uh, russell crowe as zeus which is <laughs> hilarious as well but all in all, a really dope movie. Uh, the movie comes out uh, a couple days, either Thursday or Friday. I would suggest everyone go see it. Uh, like I said, it's a Marvel movie. You mostly can't go wrong with it. But Thor, Love, and Thunder, I really love it. Probably going to be one of my favorite movies of 2022.